In this week's roundup, a recently dislocated shoulder doesn't stop Feli Pox hopping on the controller against NIP. A Blaz Ace helps push Rogue to the brink and Elevate loses their first match in over three months. Welcome back to Debrief Siege fans. I'm your host, Jackie Jing, and I hope you're ready for an exciting stage two. Let's jump right in with some NAL action. After securing fourth at SI, TSM was hoping to stay hot with Geo having visa issues and the return of the legend himself, Pojo Man. Disrupt was first up on the schedule and Chala the Goat kept it ice cold in the very first round. The problem is, is that there's a lot of avenues for the attackers to be able to find him and punish him from this spot. There's destruction that can be had upstairs and furthermore, there's some that can come through bar, but Chala finds one. Anticipating a drop, potentially. There's no hard breachers up for DG. Looking the wrong way, Chala takes down Iconic into a 1v1 versus Shuttle. The best performing player from Disrupt against Chala, but Chala wins those. Despite some big performances from J90 and DP Fire, TSM grabbed the first win of the stage, 7-3. Their next match against Beast Coast turned into a slaughterhouse as Bolo won 12 and oh! He and Chala both pulled out 100% cost ratings as TSM slammed BC 7-0. Moving over to the EUL now, where Rogue and Train Hard faced off in a frag fest on Coastline. Blaz earned the first ace of the stage as he picked away with the V308. Rogue, of course, having some experience with that as Blaz will be able to pick up the very first skill in this round. Brian almost losing his life right there, and Leon gets his deciding to lend some support. But Blaz is just swinging in with that 308. I mean, he is pre-firing everything he needs to, and he's making it look so easy. And that's the thing about this player is we've oh. always said he has the possibility to be one of those amazing young gunners. Leon, in the meantime, is trying to cut him off in his no pride, way but do Blaz, that. a great take there. Which enables a potential plant to come through, to be facilitated. And Aces is trying to go for a bit of a challenge, but Blast is going to be able to pick up a squad kill. He's going to be going for the Ace right here. Nora, in the meantime, will be going for the plant. Corey will be dug in deep, and Blast gets the final headshot as well. Despite huge performances from him and Durza for Train Hard, Rogue would snag back-to-back -back OT rounds for the 8-6 win. Meanwhile, in APAC North, Cloud9 and DWG faced off in an avalanche on Chalet. Damwon didn't go easy on APAC's top team from SI with this sneaky 1v3 clutch from Yas to kick things off. There's a frost mat that could be a big bit of danger here. The come around the corner of Shayal is able to get his triple now, but with only five seconds left, They've got to get in. They've got to try and get this diffuser they no planted. Clue. They have no clue. He's there. He pops up for a double. Yes! With a very easy cleanup at the end there because C9 just let a player slip through their fingers. Yes would go 9-1 and one as DWG slammed the door 7-0 on the former APAC champs. Big news down in APAC South as League and Dota champions Invictus Gaming has picked up the ex-giants. Hysterics and the boys did not disappoint, smashing wildcard 7-3 for their first win as Invictus. Meanwhile, Elevate hadn't lost a pro match since April 8th, heading into their match with the Pittsburgh Knights. But the Knights didn't let that phase them as Hayward clutched out to break the tie and hit match point. He overextends and now Hayward's gonna need to play massive here. He's finding some damage. He can deny this plant, but he's gonna need to hit the shots. Unfortunately, can he find it? He'll deal with the first, gets around the corner, but it just goes down in time. And now it is the post plant that takes place, Raven. But do they have a line on this? I absolutely love this from Haywood. Put the pressure on Angry. Make him peek, make him go for a play. Is he protected? Uh -oh. Is he gonna do this? A second left? He just gets it out in time, and that point goes the way of the Knights. Pittsburgh would take Consulate 7-5 and put a stop to Elevate's 16-game win streak. After the way Brazilian teams dominated at SI, we couldn't wait to see what Stage 2 had in store. Liquid and NIP squared off in the most anticipated match of the stage, an SI Grand Finals do-over. Liquid couldn't get revenge for Paris as the Ninjas stomped on Clubhouse 7-1. Meanwhile, Feli Pox didn't let an upcoming shoulder surgery keep him out as he hopped on a controller versus NIP. Feli Pox sat out in the opener against FaZe but snagged four kills on the joysticks in the NIP matchup. But it was Pino who wanted all the attention in this match as he went massive against MIBR. One of the panels that hasn't been reinforced and there's some footholds in there for him. Can he pre-fire on no through? Way. No, Pino! He's going to be able to pick up that frag. He gets a headshot directly over onto Lucid. Felipox has a lot of work to do here. 
It's going to be one versus four. Picks himself up one, but it was always going to be an extraordinarily tall order. An 18-3 performance from Pino would spoil Feli Pox's return as NIP wins 7-1 over MIBR. And after only one match, Argentina's Leviathan Esports has already been eliminated from the next Copa Elite 6. Melvinos Gaming's mate put the nail in Leviathan's coffin with a little help from a disconnect. In case of the pass, the Barto, who doesn't win, the Barto, who doesn't win, he wanted to pick it up, he saw it, 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 he Cool. Because records in the Latin scene are carried across stage, Leviathan's winless record overall keeps them away from a Copa spot until stage three. Meanwhile, like the NEL, the Campeonato Mexicano managed to get its land league underway in stage two. They kick things off with the titans of the Mexican scene, Etheris and Phoenix. With Etheris looking to extend their lead, Morphed does everything he can to keep things close. The zona que está reclamando Phoenix puede llegar a afectarles. Y ahí está oh, no. Morphed y Novis también. El equipo de Aterish quiere irse con la ventaja antes del cambio de roles. Solamente queda Morphed. Veremos si puede hacer algo. Uno en contra de cuatro va a ser muy difícil. Ahí lo tiene, claro que sí. Termina llevándose la primera baja. Tiene al otro desde el otro lado, pero ya bueno. lo empiezan a rodear. Triple asesinato, ¿quién lo detenga? Que alguien detenga a Morphed. Los de Aterish que empiezan a dispararle como locos para poderlo eliminar y el tiempo se le está terminando se le está acabando el tiempo se esconden los de Teris veremos qué es lo que sucede oh, sale no. para tratar de llevárselo Etheris pulled through to take the first win of the stage and we can already tell the land league in Mexico was a fantastic choice that's it for the first week of stage two action if you missed any of the red hot stat lines that guys like Pino and Bolo were throwing up be sure to head over to the Siege GG competition pages and hey don't forget to follow me on Twitter, follow SiegeGG on Twitter, and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date on everything Siege. That's all for this week, folks. I'm Jackie Jing, and I'll see you again soon in week two.